is a software-defined radio demonstration. And basically what we've done for today is we've connected up our receiver board uh, with our baseband board and we're using MATLAB to control all of the, the uh, receive functions. We're looking at the receiver band between 2 and 2.4 gigahertz. And what we're trying to do is just plot the receive power across the spectrum. We're just feeding in a signal from the uh, vector signal source that we have here at 2.3 gigahertz. And you can see on the screen the a spike of that signal as we see the receive power. This is the receiver part of the, of the system. So we've got, I'll just move this out of the way, we've got um, the low noise amplifier going into the down converter, which is controlled by the local oscillator. And then this is amplified and filtered here and goes into the two uh, analog to digital converters here, which then feed into the, the USB interface. And then on the other side, the data feeds from the USB interface into the digital to analog converter on through some filtering and amplifying into the, um, the uh, up converter here which is fed with a local oscillator into the power control for the, the output power amplifier, power amplifier, and then on out into the rest of the world. Yeah, my name is uh, Livia, and I'm working in, um, in MINUT, in the University of MINUT, and uh, I'm part of the CTV or software defined radio. Uh, what uh, at the moment exists is, for example, in mobiles we have that have two standard. Um, they have as well two hardware. So what we want to do is just uh, one hardware for cover several standards. So the word defined radio, we want to we, we want to change from one standard to another. Uh, it's going to reconfigure the hardware. Uh, by software, so we don't need to change all the parts in the, in the hardware platform to get different standards. So that's in a summary what software-defined radio does.